Welcome to Personal Web Tutor. Today we've got this problem. It's physics, kinematics, and the question is a Formula One race car challenges a NASCAR to a one kilometer race. The Formula One race car has an acceleration of 3.8 meters per second squared, and the NASCAR has an acceleration of 3.4 meters per second squared. But if the NASCAR gets a one and a half second head start, then who wins? So let's collect our information here. We've got the uh, we got the acceleration of the Formula One car is equal to three point eight meters per second squared, and we got the acceleration to the NASCAR, and that is three point four meters per second squared, and then the distance traveled is going to be. 1,000 meters. So we want to find out how long that it takes each of these cars to move 1,000 meters. So that equation is going to be equal to the final displacement, which is equal to x initial plus v initial times time plus one half acceleration time squared. So we know that the initial displacement and the initial velocity, those are both zero because they both start from rest and they're going to both start from the zero point. So really all I'm left with is this final displacement is equal to one half the acceleration time squared. So let's plug in our numbers the final displacement is going to be 1,000 meters, and we'll do the Formula One car first. So that's going to be equal to one half 3.8 meters per second squared time squared. So I'm going to multiply all this out, and I get 1,000 meters is equal to, what is this, 1.9 meters over second squared times squared. Now I'm going to divide over here by 1.9 meters per second squared. Now when I divide one side, I usually just treat it as multiplying by the reciprocal. There we go. And notice that the meters cancel and we are left with 1,000 seconds squared divided by 1.9 is equal to t squared. This is good because I got time squared and I got second squared. So what am I going to do is I'm going to take the square root of both sides. I'm also going to do this calculation in here. So that gives me and we're going to take the square root of both sides. And that gives us a time of 22.94 seconds is equal to time. So remember this is for the Formula One car. Now let's do the same thing for the NASCAR. Remember we were left with x final is equal to one half a t squared. And if we remember right it was one half and then we had 3.4 meters per second squared t squared and the distance was the same. 1,000 meters. So I'm going to work this out here. And I get 1,000 meters is equal to 1.7 meters per second squared t squared. Now what I'm going to do 
is divide this 1.7 meters per second squared to the other side. So I'm left with 1,000 meters times second squared over 1.7 meters is equal to t squared. Now we got the same thing, the meters cancel, and I'm left with 1,000 second squared over 1.7 is equal to t squared, which again is good because we have second squared needed here and second squared needed there. So then I'm going to take, uh, after I do, I'm going to do this calculation here first. And that gives us 588.24 second squared is equal to t squared. And we're going to take the square root of both sides. That gives us a t of equal to 24.25 seconds. And that is our NASCAR. So let's look at the difference in times. The Formula One core car, of course, was faster, but we want to subtract the two times. Minus 22.94. So we're left with 1, 3, 1. 1 1.31 seconds. That means that if the NASCAR gets a one and a half second head start, that the NASCAR wins. This guy is the winner. Of course, if they were just to start off at the same time, the Formula One car would smoke them by 1.31 seconds. But in this case, he barely wins. He actually wins by 0.19 seconds. That is a very short time. So that's like neck to neck. If you have any questions about what we have gone through here, please feel free to come over to our website, which is at personalwebtutor.com. And as you can tell, there's a little ask a question here link. You can go ahead and click on that question and what happens is you come up with a, a form you can put in your question right here and you never know maybe your question will be my next video thank you